Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel in West Hill, picking up where we left off yesterday, as a matter of fact, on the uh, the inn here along the river. We're inside in the little reading nook and we are going to, I think, quickly finish off the basement to check off the interior. And then from there, I think we need to finish the textures on the outside and on the roof. Although I do have the blocks for the uh, calcite, the white parts in my inventory. So I'm probably going to just finish those up while I'm up here. Um, and then, well, I say that I'm probably going to go outside to do it rather than from inside. I think I usually prefer to texture buildings from the outside. So that's the plan. I did install a temporary texture pack from Vanilla Tweaks that gives the doors the 3D look. It's a little broken in places. So we'll have to see if I tweak that or if I keep it the way that it is. And what was the other thing I installed? Oh, a coarse dirt texture. I installed a coarse dirt texture that removes the, the, the pattern. It's supposed to make the coarse dirt more of a, uh, of a variant. And I don't know if it's done anything. Sure. I mean, I, I can't really tell. Doesn't look as repetitive, I guess. Yeah. Okay. That one's rotated. That's fair. I'm still working on getting my pebbles back. I really like my pebbles in my core store texture and I just haven't been able to fix it yet. Kel Birdie Blast, Jordan, Sweet Sandy, Cosmic is lurking, Eli Jenkins, good to see everybody. Hope you're having a good, I almost said Saturday, but it's Wednesday. I'm trying to fast forward the week. I already had the ladders and rail textures, Elad. Yeah, I, I do like those as well. I much prefer these to vanilla. I think they look much better. You can see them better in the daylight, but I already had those. Those are included in my texture pack. So there's a couple of things in my texture pack that are not working. So I've got the coarse dirt and the 3D doors. And then everything else that I've got from Vanilla Tweaks has all been folded into my texture pack, thanks to mini packs doing a little condensing for me. But yeah, I really prefer having 3D rails. It just, it makes so much more sense. I don't know why minecraft hasn't done that by default it's probably a performance thing i guess but i just i really i much prefer them especially when there are other things in the game that are vanilla like this um that have that have depth to them right so it makes sense to have that kind of stuff um what do we need i guess that's all we need for the outside so we're gonna go and quickly do the outside scaffolding is what i want So we were bouncing around with a bunch of different ideas and decided that it looks like just a little bit of concrete powder looks the best. Uh, there's a little bit of diorite hiding behind some bushes here and there, but really it's just little dots of concrete powder with the odd little bit of quartz stair, which could actually be fun to add above the windows. So maybe I'll go get, maybe I'll go get some quartz stairs as well, just to kind of sneak those in. 3D vines is something I don't have. I tried it. I thought it looked a little bit strange. It reminded me of those really retro pixel art games. So I decided not to. Quartz slab. Do I have a smooth quartz slab? I do now. We'll decide which ones might look better. But yeah, there's some things that just don't look good. I, th I think that some of the 3D foliage doesn't look good. And I've tried a couple different settings for sodium and a couple different mods that are supposed to make leaves do better for culling, and I can't figure it out. So I'm not sure why sodium isn't listening to me when I say don't cull the leaves, but it's not. So I get to see no backs to my leaves, and I can't make them look more dense. So I guess the idea here would be a quartz slab. However, that would show up and then it would be kind of in line with that texture, that vertice thing that I don't like. And so in this situation, what I would do is a regular quartz stair might be cool. That's gonna line up with those funny too. So the block might be the better way. Um, Yeah, I might not like that. Yeah, not a fan. Okay. 
We'll try a full quartz block. I wonder if the little border that the full quartz block has might be a good idea. Uh, we could also try quartz bricks. I kind of want to accent the window a little bit. I think that could be fun. Squeal it. Thanks very much. Glad you like it. Oops, I forgot more scaffolding. So there is, that's the regular quartz. I think what I'll do is I'll try them on the different windows. And then on this one, we'll do quartz bricks. And on this one, I'll have to try again. We'll do smooth quartz here. Between the bricks and the regular block, we'll have to see which looks better. The regular block is a little bit easier. And then the texture is going to be real straightforward. Hmm. It does kind of stand out, doesn't it? I wonder if it would be better if we started layering a little bit more wood in here to highlight the windows instead. At least the trapdoor keeps the, the powder in there. I like that look. See, here's where I think we could have Maybe some fences and a fence gate or something. I don't necessarily want to put shutters on it, but we might want to do that too. Is this loud for anybody? I feel like the shulker box noises have gotten louder somehow. I was playing around with a, a an ambient sound mod, but I've got it disabled. Locks are at 70%. Thought I had more sticks. I mean, you guys, it would be ducked for, for you anyway. Bruce buttons and is there anything else? Don't know whether hanging signs would work or not. Yeah, string would hold it up, but we've got the trapdoor there. Thank you, Sweet Sandy, for being awesome. Much appreciated. So my go-to would be something like this. Oops, sorry. But that might be too much. And 
a full block. What are something... Uh, do hanging signs attach to fences? I don't think they do. No. That pushed me off the block. Rude. Whoops. I mean, it's pretty basic, and it really kind of hides the window. Maybe we don't do that. A hanging sign is a neat idea. You can't see the chains on the angles, though. I'd like to get a 3D texture for the hanging signs. That's something I'd like to do is have slightly better chain textures. Actually, 3D textures for the chains would be good, too. So we can play with the hanging sign. The hanging sign might be something fun to put instead of that trapdoor. That could be cool. Oh, it's doing the wrong thing. No, it still kind of just looks like a hanging sign. It doesn't really look like a shutter or anything. I watched uh, Impulse's latest video over lunch, and he did some really cool stuff with some bamboo signs where he was layering things. Um, what if we just change that to wood? Either we could probably go either oak or spruce over the window. Scotsman UK, welcome in. Good to see you. For sideways shutters, I've occasionally used a trapdoor with a, a normal sign on it, but at 90 degrees, so the wall is beside the window. Yeah, I know what you mean. So, like, you have put like a trapdoor, like in that position. Yeah, I could see that. And we could use one of those trapdoors instead. And I could also put it on the block space next to that. So like I could have it over here instead. That is a thunder and lightning storm. It doesn't open or shut the way that you'd want. But I'd leave them open anyway. Who ordered thunder? Yeah, not me. Not me. That's not terrible. I don't mind that color. Spruce might look a little bit better.
That's not far enough. I think maybe we can use a stripped oak. I think this is no. Hmm. Maybe I just need to leave it white and add extra spruce bits around it. Thought I could make it. So here, one thing I was thinking is that if we could put trapdoors on the outside of these, maybe. Uh, it still feels really bulky and just looks like signs like again it's not not the right scale for it to read like a railing we could maybe just pop in with some buttons Oh, I'm not going to be able to put it there. We can move the trapdoor. Even that doesn't look that good. What about down there? Need something. I guess I could try to put like a flower box outside of it, maybe. But if I do that, I'm going to get the, rid of the buttons. That helps a little bit. I do like having this extra geometry out there. I guess I should also flip the trapdoor down. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little tedious doing everything. So that would be dirt. I wish there was a way to get signs in here as well.
And I've got flowers in the window. So this one wouldn't need a flower box. Maybe this could have something more interesting. I wonder about a ladder. Cartographers are going to sell maps to trial chambers. Cool. Oh, is there a new snapshot out? I was looking before I started streaming, but because of my time difference, I think that it's now at a one o'clock for me instead of 12. And we're done with the quartz, I think. Flowers, probably just the white ones. Cool. Thanks, Gossman. I will check that out. It might be fun to, to put rooted dirt up here. One hopes for a centered flower, and then when one does not get one, so maybe we just put the flower box on the one that has the nice flower, and then we leave the other ones alone. Man. Oh, so much for that idea. I can still have the box there. Maybe you just won't have anything in it. I feel like the shutter only works if the window is not up inside. That's not working. Uh, yes, this is a multiplayer private server. Myself and about a half dozen friends. It needs some sort of wood, like it needs some sort of wood coming into the white. I just can't quite figure out what I want to do. This looks like a lid to the flower box if we do it that way, which is too bad. When in doubt, more trapdoors. It's not terrible. Can't put it on the corners though because the trapdoors are in the way.
Does anybody else get freaked out by the candle crackling noises? I, they sound like mobs to me sometimes. This one is probably going to have a nice flower because we already have one in the window. Nope. Okay. Maybe that's the thing to do. See, this is what you don't see a lot of times in people's YouTube videos is the, the back and forth of trying everything. And sometimes people do it a lot faster if they're in creative, you know? What if I brought some oak signs? That has a nice echo to it. If I did that, I might change this via stair. I wonder if this bottom part here on the sill could be wood. Because we've got this kind of happening in the roof here. I don't mind that. Oh, maybe I could put the ladders there. What about pushing this to connect? That's ah, too busy. Hard to find that balance, you know? What if we reverse this? Yeah, not sure. I 
I guess one thing we could, could do to break it up would be to have maybe this vine go up and that could break things up a little bit. So we could grab some azalea bushes maybe. I don't know if I want to get into the rose bushes and stuff just yet, but so this could pop up maybe like uh there. I think I might want to bring it in a little bit, but other than that, it looks good. I'm going to hang one off the front, maybe. Yeah, I think that helps break it up a bit. And this is where I'd like to have my leaves render properly. Sodium does this thing for speed where it doesn't render the other side, but I would prefer it if it gave me the control, you know? You should be allowed to shift on scaffolding. I know you can go out one like that, but it just, it feels like it's such, there's always an extra step with scaffolding, I find. I don't know if I like the, yeah, I guess I'm okay with the double trapdoor, the same thing. It might not look as good if it's closed. Yeah, see that feels kind of strange. So then we have to do that. But I think on the inside, I prefer having the window open because you've got such a cool view from that second floor. Yeah. So maybe we maybe we put the shutter on the side. Or we change this. Of course. I guess it doesn't have to be the same on all sides. I like that kind of symmetry, but to me it just doesn't quite work.
I like that as a nice way to cover up. See, like that feels done. Like it just it just needs a little bit of wood to balance it out. Some pink flowered vines would really benefit this. Channeling your inner, inner cosmic dancer. I could see that happening in the back garden, maybe. I've done it in places on the, in the build that I quite like. There's a, a spot back here at the bottom of the keep. And this has got some pink vines on it. Or pink cherry blossoms. And I think that that really works well. Really stands out against the deep slate. And this will look a lot better with a lot more greenery around the bottom of it. I think it'll look a lot cozier. It's already got a decent cozy vibe. So we decided to do that there. This can just stay, I guess. After all this work back and forth, I'm really not liking a lot of what I've put in. Maybe I want that window to be open too. I mean, I guess I could just remove. Well, no, that's holding up the. It's holding up the trapdoor. That's a nice view too. I mean, there's no view out there anyway. Maybe that's enough. Very, very much the same as what's below. I just did it again. Wrong sign. Insane value. Hello. Welcome back. Yeah, I've been falling off a lot today. Tell him by how much um, damage I've been taking and how hungry I am. You know, I think I prefer the open window. Guess we'll go with that. Can 
I can't bring it across there because of the trapdoors, but we'll see what it might look like. Fine in some of these cases I end up doing like the lesser of two evils where I don't really like everything, but there are some things that actually work. I'm curious if I remove these trapdoors here, I could potentially wrap this around. I like that, but I also really like the trapdoor thing. Although we lose it here too, so that's really the only spot where that happens. I think the wrap might be worth it to get rid of this. We can sneak it in here too. Obviously we can't do it there. And it's hidden behind the bush. Okay, I'll call that done. There's just one little bit of, I guess, texture to throw in up there and we're good I don't know if I can reach that from inside or not no I have to go out here I think that this will work Now, while I'm here, little details. I should wait for that. Like, well, I'll put it in now. We could almost have a, like a written sign there. That could be cool, too. Like lodging or something. That might change if I break that block, but I'll probably hear it and remember to come in and change it. There's nothing we can do here. Okay, I think we can go downstairs now. That's the outside texture. Pretty much done. I might want to try and put in a little bit of granite on these blocks. See what that looks like. I do like this final stage of just adding these tiny little touches. Do I even have granite out here? No, that would be too easy. What other blocks go with brick? Usually terracotta, right? Don't have any plane here. No, there's no real lore in the area. I try to do more, um, more history like I try to make it feel like more of a history there's some terracotta but my inventory is full
can't think of anything else that goes with bricks. I think that's it. So the 3D doors have like ridges on them. I'm not sure if I like it or not. Different. What I did for mine is that I, I remember I downloaded the original Vanilla Tweaks 3D doors and then I took it into Block Bench and I changed some of the models myself. It's been a while since I've messed around with Block Bench. Uh, is that everything? And get some extra room. So that's a wall, but this kind of wonder. Oh, come on. I could maybe get away with one or two of those in each side. Probably that. Unless I try to transition from this polished andesite into this. Now oh, that feels a little bit too structured. I could maybe replace that. It's only gonna happen on a couple sides. Maybe that's the thing to do. I think I like that better. And really doesn't affect anything inside. Oh, crap. I think it just blocked off the stairs. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, well, we'll leave that at the bottom then. And then in the corners here, I'll just pick one. go higher I'll double check to make sure it looks good inside and here we can just hide it Actually, that looks even better there. Can that be seen from the outside? Not really. So we'll do that as well. And then inside here, it's actually an inside brick thing. Uh, maybe this? It's a little busy inside when I do it this way. So maybe I'll change that one and I'll put it lower. Of 
corner of the kitchen. Oh, no, I prefer the brick there. All right, doesn't have to be everywhere. We can just leave it. The only other alternative would be here. Behind the chair. So that might not be as busy looking. Yeah, all right, we'll do that. Sweet. All right. And we'll probably do some sort of flowers here. I'm just thinking about like places I want to add those layers of details. I really wish we could do pink petals on walls. I think that would be very cool. Those can go away. We're just going to put everything in there. I find sometimes if you don't do things as soon as you notice them, then you end up forgetting about them later. unfortunate placement but I might sacrifice this for bush but we'll worry about that later. Okay, uh, let's make some mental notes on the inventory switch. I'm going to need barrels, tables and chairs, or tables anyway. Probably tripwire hooks, chests, snow layers, sand, and other things like that, and some water. And some stone. Okay. Do this while it's fresh in my brain. Officially done with the diorite, calcite, and wool. We need any of this right now. Ladders will keep. Actually, I'll bring those two. Uh, stone. Site. Tough. Maybe a little cobble. I guess I should do that after I do the insides. Thank you, sweet Sandy. Appreciate it. Which way do those face? We might be able to get away with that down there. All 
All right, maybe I'll do the stone wall stuff after. No sense in texturing the wall if I uh, don't have the other things done already. I take a break about once an hour, folks, and it is about that time now. It gives me a chance to zap the coffee, grab another glass of water. You should too. Grab yourself a snack and a break, maybe even tell a friend about the stream, and we'll be back in five or six minutes.
And we have more friends to contend with. Joy. Jeez, how long do you stay on fire? Bow's getting real low. Have to fix that soon. Did I see string over here? I did. Sweet Sandy, bless Jordan. Thank you very much. True Purple, hello. Kel, good to see you. Hope all is well. I've got the tables. Need the hammer. Don't need the shears. And snow layers. I know where I keep those. I think they're inside. All right, we'll go back for those. And a water bucket. So I like the idea of doing the shelving thing here. Don't know if that really makes any sense. And oh, I forgot a lantern. This, I think, would be cool if we made it look like it was like a wooden um, not sure what you want to call it. Tub? Wooden tub? Actually, maybe we can just mirror it over here. And I don't want to have running water sounds all the time, so I'm going to fill it up. The Mighty Elkhorn. Hello, hello. Getting used to where the staircases is now. Right, so that's cool like that. These could just have some details. And I didn't bring any tripwire hooks, but we'll put tripwire hooks maybe like up here. And I I didn't I don't mind that on the ceiling. I don't think I want to do that everywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course it's an even number. I don't think I want one of those in here. No. Slab was better. So 
So maybe we'll put, I think maybe flour in there. So we'll replace that with sand. We'll do a little bit of work around there. Now here, I want to have some sort of shelving. Maybe this can go over this way. Yeah, that makes sense. And then we'll have maybe a table. I think this would make sense if I get rid of this. Yeah, it looks like a workstation. Can't put anything on top of that. So I may end up moving those shelves up. We could put something there, but then I'd, I'd want to stack some laundry up there would be good. And then I guess we need some sort of like empty laundry or dirty laundry. What is above this? I don't think there's a real place to have a laundry chute. But you could imagine one kind of like in this section. So what is that? 88, 87, 97, 12. Yeah. You can sort of imagine this being perhaps like a laundry chute and maybe we could have it look like there's some, I'm not sure what would look like dirty laundry. Calcite maybe? Could be fun. And then we could change this around. Oh, wow, that's dark. Let's put you somewhere else for now. Uh... and it looks like there's a hole. It's both. It's a it's a cellar. It's a, I mean it's a, it's a little kind of like mom and pop in, right? So now unfortunately these shelves would be empty except for the top, which is too bad. We can't even put like, I don't think I can even put um, mini blocks on there. Maybe if I put an armor stand on there. Um, I think I like this open as it is. Don't know about that. I, I used to like this idea, but the more I see it, the less I do. I think I like that layered look. Keeps it going like that. Uh, this, I guess we can do a little accent on. Just to try to hint someone sees it. Hey, look, there's a secret tunnel. Everything else I'm pretty happy with. I had roughed it out before. Kind of wondering now whether I should have made that darker. Drip dark oak can sometimes look better. Maybe that's what I'll do there. Whoops. That could also look good as Strip Dark Oak too. And then something in the back corner. That's where I actually I think that I could put that um, cartography table. That might work. Don't think I want to do that. Actually, yeah, that looks that looks good. Again, helps conceal things a little bit. Do 
too much. I'm going to put a lantern there. You know, I think that's I think that's really it. I'm going to go get the um the dark oak and see what that might look like. And I'm needing a couple of other blocks. But while we're here, I can add a little bit of texture. Maybe I don't want moldy bricks near the laundry. That might not be a good idea. Cracked are fine, though. Maybe this is a little bit smooth, just to kind of draw some attention to that area. Oh, that's the wrong one. And the ceiling will have to change a bit, too. Ah, a cauldron with a fire underneath it. That would be interesting. A cauldron would be a good idea down here, too. I, I kind of like the double, the double bin. I guess I could... I might be able to put some campfires down there for the effect, having steam coming out of that maybe. This is where I feel the, the inventory crunch. I've got a bunch of things I want to do, but I can't do them all at once. Now what's going on there? That's weird. Why is that continuing to play? Oh, because there's an item in there? Obviously a glitch with the texture mod. Actually, that would be, that'd be fun to have there. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being fantastic as always. Drying racks. Um, that's sort of what I think this could be. Plus, I don't have the tripwire hooks on me, but that's what I would have wanted to have. Like, kind of in this area, too. Although, drying laundry outside would be a good touch, I think.
too much the same. All right, ceiling, uh, maybe just a little bit less andesite. In some places anyway. Highlight over the door. Oh, hello. Maybe a stair there. It's pretty dark. I might have to add a light somewhere. Leaguer Gaming, thanks for coming in. Good to see you. Is that visible outside? It stands out like a sore thumb. It is not. I should probably change that to Deep Slate. I think it's the only one. We'll change that to basalt, actually. Uh, don't think the bookshelves are going to be needed. Don't need the fences. So I'm going to need some snow layers, extra tripwire hook. I wanted to test out. What did I do with the... Where did I put the cartography table? Over here somewhere? Yeah. So I need my snow shulker box. It'd be easier than bringing out the extra layers. Hooks and lanterns, thank you. I don't think a decorated pot is gonna really go with anything. I was looking at some of the ways that some of the hermits on Hermitcraft do their interiors and man, they really jam a lot of detail in sometimes, in a very good way. I 
Oh, remember there was... I think I've got a box of mini blocks out there already, but there's another one here too. Nothing in there really looks much like food. I've already got a pumpkin out there. Is it me or does that look gray in my inventory? Doesn't there. Yeah. Weird. That's odd. I wonder if it's got something to do with the mod. Because this has got like a symbol thing on it. Oh, and that's great too. Is it just a hot bar? Yeah, it's just a hot bar. Huh. Weird. I wish that you could change the direction of those. Dark oak. Dark oak trapdoor. And a lantern. There's a couple of hooks. The lantern, I think, will go here. And that's all the way up until we get around the corner. Yeah, I think that lights it up pretty well. So I thought we could do, uh, I'll just throw this up here for now. Maybe I could do a, a different color carpet there, like gray or something. And then in here, I thought I could do calcite, maybe with like a mini block or something. And then something like that. This does feel kind of empty, so we might want to try to have something else on there too. And I brought this because I think it's actually, it's for once it's facing the right direction. I'm just wondering whether that would look better. Well, it has to go up against the wall. So I guess we'll do it there. Just wondering about this barrel. Nah, it's too dark. Okay. That looks pretty good. We could put a tablecloth on that maybe? That might help, although it wouldn't make much sense. This is just feeling very brown, and I'm trying to think about what I can do to change up the colors through here. Maybe having stuff on the shelves is the answer. It's probably the best way to go. Let's move you around here. I'll figure that out. Hmm. 
Yeah, I like the little zigzag you have to take to get in there. Pretty good. Maybe we'll do andesite there instead. Nope. There's nothing there to grab. It's just really the animation is kind of going over and over again. Weird. Right, so we can put some stuff up there. I don't know if I want like an extra barrel up there. Nice highlight with the um, chest. Oh, unless that chest would be better off down here. Yeah. And then this will look lighter because it's got the light next to it. Could also be a mini block there too. I might get rid of the barrel and put like a mini block up there. All right, so I think that's it for all the brown stuff. I think now it's it's about mini blocks, calcite, and a couple of other little maybe armor stand things. I wonder if you had a trap door in the bottom of the trough and the campfire under it. Maybe that two blocks down with the smoke look better it might i i don't know what's going on with that that data pack that's the um the wake or the wakes data pack not data pack sorry it's a mod um so yeah i don't know what's going on there we're done with the snow layers although I'll bring some carpet calcite so I have calcite in the mini block I've got barrels chests beehives Sometimes it's cool just to have bricks around. That would break up the color a bit, which would be nice. Thought I had a pot out here. Do.
And then there was a pumpkin somewhere. Uh, the hammer is for tables and chairs. So it, um, when you have a chair, a table, you can smack it with the hammer and it changes the number of legs. Two, one, or zero. And that's back to four. And, it, and it's where you stand. So if I do this and I stand over here, it'll leave the leg that's closest to me. And vice versa, if I want two on this side, I just smack on that side. And it's a trapdoor, and it's got something to do with the, the data that's attached to it. But it's all probably going to change quite a bit uh, when the... Um, when 1.20.5 drops. I'm not sure how much that's going to change. Do I have any wood blocks? Yeah, I got a couple. I was really hoping to get more done outside today. <laughs> so that's a little close if I wanted to pile this up on the floor. But it could be fun to put there, maybe? Adds a little color. So unfortunately, yeah, I knew we wouldn't be able to do that. Probably a beehive instead. Oh, wrong way. That's cool. And then up here, maybe this is where I put something like this instead. It's a little bit samey, but we could change that. Yeah, it does, doesn't seem to match the vibe, right? Like, it doesn't even really feel that medieval. <laughs> it just feels kind of, I think, more like warmer climate, Greek, Egyptian, that sort of thing. Uh, can't put that there. And I put the ladder there, which means I can't put cloth there, but if I move the ladder, did I not bring gray carpet? Where did it go? Oh, how did it get up there? Well, I didn't want to do that. Oh, crap. Now I gotta go get the hammer again. Calcite goes in there. And then make it look like it's piled real high. Maybe. It's either that or maybe white carpet. I mean, it's going to cover up the calcite, but. I 
think that looks better. Uh, we could still use the calcite somewhere. Well, not there. Doesn't really make any sense there. So the, with the armor stands, I was thinking that maybe we could scoot some stuff onto the shelving. Right? It's even it's even bigger than a mini block. And what else could we use? There's a pumpkin on the shelf, and then we could put maybe one of these, although it's kind of the same as what we already have. Not bad. Oops. Is it negative eight? Yeah. So it's not packed full of stuff, but I think it's enough stuff that it makes it feel like it's being used. Yeah, the barrel, the thing about the armor stands that's really neat is that when you put something in the armor stand, if you do styles and show the arms, then when you give it a barrel, it's like the same size as a mini block, right? Like those are the same size. I think so anyway. They might be a little bit bigger in the world. But then if you switch it to the head, which is swap slots, then it's not as big as a block, but it's bigger than a mini block. So you can have like a bunch of different sizes. The armor stand data pack is really, really useful. The, the trick is that of course, data packs are limited with the, the UI that you can make. So that's the tricky part, right? Uh, I think the only thing left to do is, I don't think I want to put anything else up there. Oh, I locked that before I changed the Y level. Um, that seems better. So I need sand and some sand textures and I was going to put something over there, but I don't really know what I could do. 
outside of giving carpet to an armor stand, I guess. Or snow layers, I guess, too. It's really small. Can you not hold a snow layer? I guess you can't. Take my axe, no problem. Yeah, I guess they can't hold a snow layer. That's odd. Yeah, I think that's a nice little touch. All right, so it's just the sand. Sand is the only thing left to work on, I think. Oh, lots of friends. Nice and lit up in here. Hammer to fix the table. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate the, the note I would have forgotten. Do you see me? Yeah, you saw me. Not sure why skeletons and creepers don't fight normally. I think that would be very helpful. Hammer to fix that. Don't need extra lanterns. I wish you could do um, cycle interruptions. Like, I, I wish if you continue to hit the mob that it would stop them from shooting at you. I think that would be a lot more useful. So, oh, sand. Sand, smooth sand. I mean, really, it doesn't matter. And birch somewhere. And do I have a wheat texture? Yeah, party at Joel's place, definitely. They're all here. So I'm going to swap this out for sand because it looks like grain. And then you can also do things like spilt grain on the floor. Whoops. I 
don't know if I like that it comes across like that. Maybe we'll go the other direction. Yeah, there we go. Just a little detail. Uh, and fixing the table. Basement done. Job complete. I forgot the basalt. It's the only thing. Hey, there's Cosmic Dancer. Uh, basalt. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the tunnel dug. I might be able to. I can feel the pinch when my, like, junk shulker boxes are also feeling very full. I need to do some cleanup here. Clean up on aisle seven. Those all got placed so they don't stack anymore. I, yeah, it's weirdly I'm feeling like my uh, shulker noise is loud today. One last little bit. They're louder than they usually are, but not annoyingly. It's weird. It's, I don't know what change. I mean, I've added that mod, but that mod shouldn't, it's, it's deactivated, right? Or was it here? There we go. All right. I've only got a few minutes left. What should we, what should we do chat? Should I poke at these walls? on the outside and start making plans for the walls in the garden? Or should I dig the initial secret tunnel that goes from that tunnel entrance downstairs? And right now it's going all the way over here. So I 64. I wonder if I should make the tunnel shorter, keep the idea, but have it go here. Cause this feels more hidden than like right next to a bridge where everybody's going to see it. Take a look at the walls. Yeah. Probably a good idea. The walls are bugging me in my screenshots. Yeah. I feel like that's really obvious. Whereas if we snuck it into the rocks over there, Maybe the secret tunnel should get moved. It's also a lot shorter. I think that would make a lot more sense. Way over there feels a bit of a stretch, you know? All right, let's make a note in the wall here. So, secret tunnel will move. 
this, do I have dirt blocks to replace this? I do not. This. It's now a rock. Thank you, Sweet Sandy. Appreciate it. It's probably a decent time to just wrap up rather than starting into anything that I can't get too far in. Time to go to the gym. Yeah, so next time we'll start with the outside. We'll start with things like the lampposts and the stairs. I'll probably start with the stairs and get those right. And then from there, plan out what kind of gardens we're going to have. I know we're not going to have these, actually. It's probably going to be rose bushes. So we'll replace those. I never thought that you could do some texturing by having both farmland and dirt there. Reverse them, maybe have the farmland closer to the pathing. That'd be cool. Yeah, we might want to try to mix in some different stuff, maybe some low berries. I did something really cool with roses in the mansion. And I think I used berries as well. Yeah, it's kind of like a mix of bushes and shrubs and berries and stuff like that. We'll probably do something very similar to this out front of the inn, which is cool. Not with um not with mangrove. We'll probably use something a little bit different. This is a taiga biome, so we had to go with something uh, a little darker. But not bad. Not bad. It took us a while to sort out what we wanted to do on these top these top places, which is really nothing too crazy. We just uh, added some wood paneling along the bottom and added in some textures. And then the time consuming stuff was downstairs where we now have a finished basement full of stuff. So we've got a laundry chute, laundry wash station, folded laundry, bunch of stuff piled up. Uh, some stuff on some shelves, which looks pretty good. Little mini blocks, uh, some spilled grain, and of course, back here, the, the secret tunnel, which now that I have decided to move it, makes a lot more sense just to take it to there. Previously, it was way down here, and I think just scooting it out this way makes more sense. We can almost go, like, out here. I don't know what we do. Maybe do like a zigzag? Or straight, maybe straight over in that way. Yeah, that's probably more like what we'll do. Hidden in plain sight, as they say. Twisty, turny stairs. Oh, the shulker boxes are everywhere. Yeah, I've got to clean that up in between streams. That's, I need to tidy that up. It's become a bit of an issue. Bit of an issue. I also need more street lamps around here, obviously. We have too many friends. Uh, almost. Anyway, folks, if you want to check out some other things from me, you can listen to the Spawn Chunks podcast. That is available wherever you get your podcasts. You can download the Citadel Cafe as well. Again, available all over the place for podcasts. Both of those are available on YouTube as well. You can check out things like the Patreon page if you'd like to support. It gets you access to the Discord. So does the Tier 1 sub or Prime Gaming sub. They all uh, point towards the Discord, which reminds me, I'm going to be doing some exclusive uh, patron stuff for the Citadel Cafe. You don't have to be a patron of the Citadel Cafe. You can be a Twitch sub. You can be a Joel Duggan Patreon sub, like whatever you want to do to support the channel. I'm going to be doing some breakdowns in a... I guess it's more like a semi-annual report where I talk about the Twitch channel, subscriptions, the plans for the future, the podcast, the Citadel Cafe, pod, you know, downloads, behind the scenes, all that kind of stuff. So we'll be doing that in the near future. You can keep an eye out for that. And uh, don't forget to 
follow here on Twitch and check out Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. Uh, that is where I post all of the stuff. There are over 800 VODs. Uh, most of them are Minecraft. There are several satisfactory VODs as well, but they are all uh, available there if you want to watch this in real time, I guess. Uh, let's let's forward y'all over to Megabyte. I feel like Megabyte is doing the same sort of cozy building that I've been doing lately. So I think you'll enjoy your afternoon there. And I will see you back here tomorrow, Thursday at one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours. Bye for now.